Hello, my name is Stefan Wurz and I'm Deputy Director of CELSI for Graduate Education and Training. CELSI is a research center of excellence located in Singapore in Southeast Asia. CELSI stands for Singapore Center for Environmental Life Sciences Engineering and we are dedicated to the study of biofilms, which are microorganisms, at interfaces and microbial communities in general. We are interested in students who are keen to develop skills and gain knowledge in a variety of disciplines and new applications for research across at least two disciplines. CELSI is hosted by two of Singapore's top universities, NTU and NUS. We have an open-door policy meaning that our research labs and facilities are open and not limited to specific principal investigators or PIs. There are no names on the door. There are many opportunities to interact and communicate with different principal investigators or PIs, regulators, researchers, students, industry and academic experts to exchange scientific ideas and gain expertise in different fields. Our postgraduate program provides funding opportunities to students to participate in scientific conferences, seminars and workshops. Every student has a, a thesis advisory committee and this committee includes professors from different schools or departments and they come with different areas of expertise and diverse backgrounds so you can seek your advisory committee's guidance and feedback on your research and that can help you to open up new ways of thinking about your specific topic. Well, students receive interdisciplinary training. So you could be working with microbiologists, chemists and environmental engineers or others. And such interdisciplinary collaboration often shines new light on emerging fields. The opportunity to work and collaborate with people from other disciplines, working on interdisciplinary problems, prepares you well for various career paths. My advice to students is to submit a good research proposal. Although it is only one selection criterion, it is a good way to connect with your supervisors. It does not mean that you have to work on the idea that you've outlined after having been admitted to the program, but it helps us to make a good decision. One suggestion I have is that you tailor your research proposal so that it aligns with the interests of a potential supervisor. And it will be very useful for you to find out more about the research background of various supervisors by contacting them directly. In fact, you can find out whether your preferred PIs have open positions in their research group. And this is very important because your relationship with the supervisor is going to have a big impact on how you feel and progress during um, your journey as a PhD student. In my research group, for example, where we focus on the role of microorganisms in environmental engineering applications, they made first contact by writing to me directly, just sending me an email. Hi, uh, my name is Sanjay Swaro. I'm a professor at the National University of Singapore at the Department of Biological Sciences. Uh, here at CELSI, I'm the director of the graduate program uh, dealing with all aspects of a PhD student's life. Uh, for the main body of your email, uh, your intended goals uh, can be to cover these uh, areas like uh, introduce yourself first, uh, then inquire about whether uh, the supervisor is taking any students or not in the coming term. Thirdly, to make it clear, why are you interested in that particular faculty member? This could be a key. Finally, you can also uh, reach out to the PIs uh, uh, contact through their Twitter account or their web page because many of the PIs in CELSI they keep these very current so you can know and learn more about their exciting research through these uh, media. This project list on our CELSI website are also just examples uh, and samples of available PhD projects so these projects 
uh, can change. You can get as much feedback as you can uh, from the people um, you know have been go uh, who have gone through this exercise. Uh, so, for example, you can make sure the right people uh, are chosen for uh, being your referees who know you well and let them know with plenty of notice ahead of time. Several weeks will be a good uh, plan to have. Also, uh, if you are uh, good in your application and you make it to our PhD interview, you think about the questions you might be asked. Uh, refer to your seniors or people who would have done and gone through such a PhD interview and don't be afraid to rehearse. Um, practice makes everyone perfect and so that practice will go a long way in your successful application. And finally, I would like to uh, mention that your PhD is going to be the focus of your professional and personal life for at least four years. So it's important that it will be time well spent and uh, you develop both your career and your uh, personality and life uh, skills uh, through this process. So that's how we want you to see uh, growing in our graduate program. Remember that doing a PhD is a journey. And one of the things that I like best about my own career is crossing over into other disciplines. So I hope that you will consider making Celsi part of your journey.